Cyclopentane is actually a very common basic excuse that we use every day. Using the correct way of cyclopentane helps us in maximizing the precision and minimizing the common errors as well as contamination. Firstly, you need to determine what size of the micropipette fits your job. Always select the smallest size pipette that can handle the volume you wish to move. Accuracy decreases as you use unnecessary large pipettes for small volumes. For example, I want to dispense 100 microlit of liquid. So, I will select the pipette with volume range between 10 to 100 microlit. Set your desired volume by turning the plunger. Volume set can be viewed on the digital display window. Never go over the range limit as it will damage your pipette. Apply light pressure to insert the tips. Take note that over force will strain your arm and damage the pipette. Each tip with different volume is normally color coded for easier identification. Close the box after finish using it to ensure the sterility of the tips. To aspirate the liquid, Press the plunger to the first stop. Insert the pipette vertically into the liquid vessel. Keep the tips just barely beneath the surface of the liquid. Slowly release the plunger to aspirate the liquid. Do not release the plunger too fast to avoid air bubbles being trapped. To distend the liquid, the pipette tips should always stay in contact with the vessel wall with a 45 degree pipetting angle. Press the plunger to the second stop to perform a full blow out. Please make sure to raise the tips out of the liquid before releasing the plunger. Discard your tips into a biohazard waste bin using the ejector. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned to our next video on common errors in fire